Here is a structure on the bottom that is quite normal. You can recognize it as an adrenal gland. Here is fat surrounding the adrenal cortex. Here is fat surrounding the adrenal cortex and capsule on this side. And here in the center is adrenal medulla. Let's zoom in a little bit. And you can see that the uh, cortical tissue uh, underneath the capsule is often arranged in little balls like glomeruli. So that's why it's called the zona glomerulosa. As you go deeper in, it's arranged more in these uh, linear fasicular cord-like structures. So here is the zona fasciculata. Once again, uh, deep inside, you have more of a reticular pattern uh, so that's the zona reticularis. Here you have some material in which you recognize things that look like ganglion cells and a lot of very big blood vessels. So this is the medulla. This is a normal medulla, good demarcation between cortex and medulla, good delineation of the three cortical layers. Here's sugar, here's, I'm sorry, here's salt, here's sugar, here's sex, for uh, mineralocorticoids, glucocorticoids, and uh, gonadotropins often are sex hormones. Here's a nice capsule. Uh, here's some nice fat around it. The whole gland might weigh five grams, and the cortex is fairly uniform. Now, here's the disease in question up here. Let's uh, zoom in on it a little bit. I think you could probably recognize again that it's adrenal gland. I think you could make out uh, perhaps some small glomeruloid or ball-like structures underneath the capsule for a zona glomerulosa. Often differentiation between uh, the three layers is not always the easiest. And in this case, it's uh, not as easy to differentiate uh, medullary tissue from cortical tissue. But you know when you get into these large uh, veins uh, lined by thick amounts of smooth muscle. That's the medulla. What is wrong with this adrenal cortex? Well, sure, you could see cells here, but in between the cells, you see this substance that is pink, it's glassy, it's homogeneous. It's one of the uh, many forms of what we call on uh, microscopically hyaline, but it's not fibrin. It's not fibrous tissue. Uh, it doesn't look like um, foreign material of any type, but it is kind of a glassy, homogeneous, pinkish material. Well, it turns out that if you were to do a Congo red stain of the cortex, you will see that this material is indeed amyloid. And if you polarized the uh, material microscopically after you did the Congo red stain, uh, this material would have a kind of a granny apple green birefringence, which is totally uh, diagnostic of amyloid. Amyloid is uh, infiltration of immune protein, often resulting from granulomatous diseases or other chronic diseases. Uh, sometimes it's associated with a multiple myeloma. And um, amyloid uh, is also generally uh, associated with uh, aging in general. But when there is this much amount of it uh, interfering with functions of organs, then it's a part of a pathologic process. This is amyloidosis of the adrenal gland. Amyloidosis can occur in just about any organ. In this case, it happens to be an adrenal. Thank you very much.